we come to University Circle several times a week because my daughter goes to the music school settlement, preschool, and my other daughter goes to little kid music class there, little baby music class. And then we come to the museum, I would say at least every other week, sometimes weekly. We used to come up here when I was a kid. We grew up in Canton, and we would drive up here for excursions to the Natural History Museum and climb on Steggy out in the front. And that was my first experience with the Natural History Museum. I would say that the best thing about the museums is that the education is grounded in reality. Even though there's fun things to do and there's a lot of imaginative play, still they're learning about the world around them, especially here at the Natural History Museum, but even when we go to the Art Museum they get to see the world reflected through somebody else's point of view. They love to go to the botanical garden and explore the glass house and the Hershey garden and they're learning about their world around them. And sometimes when you go to an amusement park or an amusement center like Chuck E. Cheese, there's nothing wrong with that and we do that too, but it's much more about just sort of the quick fix of fun instead of the lasting impression that it makes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in between when I drop the, the three-year-old off um, and when we have our music class, Amelia and I will walk around the Oval in the morning on Monday mornings and it's nice. We get to see everybody walking to Case and going to the art museum and it's fun. We came here to see Dr. Scott the paleontologist who is the famous host of PBS's Dinosaur Train and he was coming here to the museum to give an explorer lecture for grown-ups but he also did a meet and greet for his preschool fans so we came here and it was packed with preschoolers and their families. Was he fast or slow when he ran? Fast. Fast, you're right. I think one of the things about being a member is the more you come, the more you appreciate how different each experience can be. You can do the same thing. Go to the Discovery Center, go to the Dinosaur Hall, go to the cave, go outside and see the animals, but each time you're getting a little bit different experience. You might read something new or see something new, and when you aren't a member and you pay at the door, I think you feel like, okay kids, let's get as much out of this visit as we can. And when you get, when you become a member, you really realize how much there is to do, and you don't have to feel like you have to pack it all into one visit. Each time it can be a little bit different. 